pleasant day everyone we are currently here in South Island we are having our short winter road trip we are going to Omaru some parts of Waitaki Valley and Lake Takapo we hope you can join us on our road trip to South Island the travel time from Christchurch to Omaru took us approximately 3 hours and 30 minutes the road is flat and straight. Look at that view, a snow-capped mountain range lit by the morning sun. Fantastic winter landscape. Hubby wanted to stop in Timaru for lunch. He heard about maize pies and would like to try it. We found a place, but the shop is closed for renovation. Hubby's eyes lit up when he spotted a bakery across the road. So off we went to get some meat pies. The generous portion of meat fillings encased in a golden brown flaky pastry was delicious. Omaru is a Maori name meaning place of sheltered fire. It is the biggest town in North Otago in the South Island of New Zealand. In 1853 a European settlement began. Omaru is known for its penguin colony and limestone architecture of the Victorian precinct. Victorian precinct is like a small European street. We wandered the street and marvelled at the preserved Victorian architecture and streetscape. There are an eclectic mix of shops, museums and galleries, as well as eateries and bars. Steampunk HQ is located near the Victorian precinct. What is a steampunk? It is the futuristic vision of the 19th century Victorian England. The museum has a maze of unusual interactive artwork and bizarre gadgets. The portal is my favorite part of the museum. It is a mirrored room surrounded by hundreds of colored lights. It is like entering another dimension. Here we are checking if the camera is recording. We were mesmerized by the glowing lights changing its colors. The backyard is filled with old rusty trains, planes and automobiles and recycled scrap metals. There are three words to describe this museum. Weird, wacky and wonderful.
We were hoping to see penguins come ashore. However, to view the penguins in their natural environment from the sea in the evening would cost $40 per person. We decided to forgo. Driving back, we came upon Sumter Wharf, which we learned is a prime habitat for shags. There are so many shag colonies around New Zealand. Did you know that one-third of the world's shag species are found in New Zealand? Criterion Hotel was built in 1877. This building was restored to reflect its past as closely as possible. While waiting for dinner, Stella had the opportunity to look around the building. Just behind the bar is the temperance room, where guests could enjoy non-alcoholic drinks. We ordered typical pub grub, bangers and mash and fish and chips. The food was simple, delicious and very good value. Our unique accommodation is another aspect of our travel worth sharing with you. We stayed in Posh Tell, a boutique hotel where every room has a theme. Art collections, antiques and artefacts are displayed on the walls in every room. This concludes episode 1 of our winter road trip to South Island. See you in episode 2. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat po.